Previt, this is Salvation. I present to you Geralt of Rivia and The Witcher 2. We are in this place where we just spat at a pancreat. I suppose this is our way. Yeah. Don't hit the door with a freaking sword, girl. Alright, I suppose we're going to end up in Vergen right now. I don't know where Vernon is, probably walking at a leisurely pace again. I can't look after him. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. At any rate, this is it. This is pretty much towards the end, I think, of chapter 2. I will continue with the other version of chapter 2 afterwards with Jovis Path and then I'll go into chapter 3 on Roach's Path. <laughs> Which I may. Bastard! Well, I thought it was Hensel's mob that got through the tunnels. They tried. I'm glad you knocked it out of their heads. <laughs> so good to see you. Well, stand the light. Headed west to Oxenford. Booty plowing cross this time. Hensel. Ha! Hensel's about to get booked, bare arse and all. Dandelion could have stayed. Zoltan, Did I know that in advance? Fall. Get out of here while you can. Oh, there'd be nothing dwarven about that. Leaving my mates! All right, just don't get killed. Don't get killed yourself, you divot. As soon as Vergen's victorious, I'll find Dandelion. I owe that much. Incidentally, what are you doing here? We've got some unfinished business with Hensel. And we all have unfinished business <laughs> with that network. Is he leading the army himself? He wouldn't have it any other way. Mm, good one. We're looking for Sheila the Tanzer. We heard she was in Bergen. We've got a flash of a noble arse, but only briefly. She's staying in the house of that other sorceress. What's her name? That's the one. Maybe they're screwing. I heard that thought. Where's the house? It's the furthest to the north. Shortest way is across the rope bridge. And listen, she has a secret passage extending beyond the city walls. I like secret passages. How do I? They've surrounded your friend. He's holed up in the town hall with a handful of squirrels. Help him. <laughs> Where do I go? No time to lose. Apparently in there. Okay. There's the bridge. Let's go. Yeah, let's. Ow! Fuck. Vernon! <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. Still alive? Go around. We'll meet at Philippa's house. Around where? I hate Bergen and this architecture at the best of times. I don't know where to go. I haven't the faintest idea. Ah, uh, there. <sighs> How do I get there? Over the bridge and through the passage there might be an option. Although the bridge is broken, thanks to Vernon, who was too heavy for it. Fuck. I'll try upstairs, because downstairs wasn't the passage before. Vergen is a bit confusing. Oh, 
the king! Plow your king! That's the way. <gasps> Damn, you're ugly. Open in the name of King Henza. What the hell is a golem doing here? Go away, Geralt. Open in the name of King Henta. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm going to die. Can I meditate? Yes, I can. That's all I wanted really, thanks a million. Open in the name of King Hansa. Swallow, it doesn't hit me anymore. Or at least not as well. Open in the name of King Hansel. Get away, girls, get away now. Fuck. Did I last save? I should save more often. This is a bit chaotic. <laughs> Come on, faster. Oh, for crying out loud. Shit! <laughs> Can't do that now, apparently. Okay. We surrender. the king for Cadwin. Save. 
thanks. Again, because no, no, no. Open. Damn you. Get away, girl! Get away, girl! Oh, come on, for fuck's sake. Damn it. Open in the name of King Hansel. By the end of that fight, I actually know how to fight it. Save. Where is Philippa's house? I think up there, isn't it? Did I save? I may not have. See you in Lock Moon. Hi. Where's Vernon? Do I have to fight them in here? Late, King. Where are they? Gone. No idea. Tell me or I'll Don't make me laugh. You wouldn't let me out of here alive anyway. A soothsayer now. Kill him! For Cadwin! Yeah. 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 
Ow. For the king! I can't win! Come on, leave me alone, you guys. Get him! Call the king! Ow! Actually, use this sign, you know? One down! For the king! For Cadwin! Yes, that's the one. certainly fence it seems I've met my match mm -hmm. you've won the battle but lost the war the city's in my hands for now hi Vernon pleasure to see you and you're in mine now there's a decision coming up for the good of the Temerian crown Vernon Roach is prepared to do anything if needed, he becomes a murderer and requires others to do the same. That's harsh. Bernard Lorido had only disdain for the world, gave it nothing but suffering. I helped Roach, joined him and his people, and I had to face another choice. Killing the commander of a forgotten trading post is not the same as killing a king. even if both are murderers and rapists. Isn't it the same, though? Vernon Roach, 
to Marion and Cockerel of the Blue Stripes, what will you do with me? You know perfectly well. You won't kill me. You wouldn't dare. I'm the King of Kedwin and soon of Lormark. The North won't survive without me. I've won. Do you know why I rushed into battle? Do you? I had to resolve it before Loch Muin. He's playing for time. Let's kill him. Wait. Tell us, King. What's going to happen in Loch Muin? A new world order, new borders. Everything will change. All the kings and princes of the North will be there. Do you know the old saying? He who controls the Pontar Valley controls the North. Have the mages been invited? It's their idea. They want to revive the Council and Conclave. They want to regain their rights and privileges, their place in society. What tripe. I've outsmarted them all. I'll be the one to dictate treaties. I'll show them who's ruler. You had my men killed. Of course I had them killed. <laughs> what do you do with spies in Temeria? Give them awards? None of those hanged were part of the plot. Only me. You know the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Your villainy knows no bounds. What do you call villainy? The fact that I've made Ketwen stronger than ever? You fool. I'm the last ruler of the North whom Nilfgaard must respect. And it will. <laughs> Witcher, reason with him. Are murder and rape royal virtues of the New Order too? Every wench dreams of being plowed by oh, a king. Oh, come on. And Vess? Did she complain to you? I thought she liked it. She squeaked like an unoiled hinge. I'm leaving you two alone. Squeaky hinge. Funny. Very funny. You wouldn't dare. Don't bet on it. Enough of this plowing chatter. Someone needs to die, and I'll sleep better for it. I am Henselt of Ardkareg, the last of the unicorns. I won't beg for mercy. Look me in the eyes. Go on! Take your revenge! <laughs> A flea has bitten a lion. Well, there was one powerful flea then. Yes, well. There goes Henselt. Henselt. <laughs> it was a pleasure. I suppose the good solution would be to let him live, but sorry, no. Only not we know sorry. what happened here. Well, and Henselt. <laughs> the sooner we forget it, the better. I'll erase it from my memory. <laughs> Sheila teleported herself to Loch Muin. Where there's Sheila, there's Letho. The murderers are gathering for their peace talks. We have to be there. Okay. Sheila to Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the Council and Conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muin, Master Dandelion? Your humble servant and chronicler was forced to flee the Pontar Valley, as he very well might have paid with his life for his heroic stand against King Henselt. And to allow oneself to be humbly slaughtered, consigning to oblivion this account of incredible events, would be a grave transgression against the hmm. arts and letters. To his credit, he didn't know what to feeling go. a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, Put that in I writing. dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. 
Alright, I will cut this cha this chapter. Chapter? It's not exactly a chapter, it's a session short as soon as I can. This is the chart of chap the start of chapter three. Has Radovid's messenger been by? Yes, sir. And what did he say? Tamaria cannot survive. The kingdom will be divided. The nobles are riled. Constable Natalis stands on shaky ground. <laughs> the loyal old Natalis will get kicked in the ass. How predictable. And they nearly reached an agreement, but without Foltest's daughter, it didn't work out. Perfect. Are the quarters ready? There is a little problem. Then we must look at this problem. Hmm. There's no door. We can't lock her in a doorless cell. I can see that, you fool. Out of my way! Uncle Deathmold will cast a tiny spell on your little house. Versa Anem. We won't let that naughty Natalis get you. Idiot. Clear up in here. This is Loch Muin, not a bloody pigsty. Okay. Poor little girl. Well, we'll take care of that problem. Okay. Ah, oh, bollocks, Geralt. Marshal Rorpenek was a cruel, Rorpenek. bloodthirsty prick, true. But the times were different. He had his men murder every last elf in Loch Muin. For years, Jorveth and his ilk have been using that banner to wipe their asses clean of the shit they do. In wartime, a commander's forced to make all kinds of decisions. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and I'm sure it lay really heavily on Rorpenek's conscience. Bollocks again. I've already admitted he was a prick. Are you defending the Enshe? They've got barrels of blood on their hands as well. With the Vrans gone, we had to safeguard this source of the power, safeguard this historic city. Huh, elven drivel. Heaps of lizard-like bones were found in nearby caves, all bearing traces of sword cuts. Uh, I think what you will. I'm more interested in the city's current inhabitants. Why am I worried you're going to do something really stupid once we get there? <laughs> Above all, I'll find the cure to my suffering. Deathmold was just a pawn in Henselt's hands. Deathmold is a bloody murderer, and Henselt was a king. A king I killed. He didn't believe I'd do it till the very end. Nor did I. It's not something I want to discuss again. I don't know if I'll ever strike those images from my mind, but I know I don't want to talk about it. Taking revenge on Deathmold won't change a thing. Oh, but it will. The ghosts of my comrades will drink to my health. Keep that in mind for later. All right, this was the Vajan, Guard of Rivia and the Witcher 2, Bovite. I selected and How trained those on. men myself. True, there were good days and bad. They weren't even given the chance to die in combat. You also lost your king, Vernon. Don't forget why you embarked on this mission. I haven't. If Letho and Sheila are in Loch Muin, they'll never leave it alive. Okay, this was the Vajan, Guard of Rivia and the Witcher 2, Bovite. Next time will be... Chapter 2, or Chapter 1, the end, on Jova's side. Yeah, who we'll